Okay, then. So these guys now, um, they've taken one cohesion. These have taken two. So these guys turn. Maybe it's time to charge in, see what happens, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, so my choices are to charge in like that, or I guess to slide across and charge in like that, aren't they? Yep. So the advantage you... the advantage of, sl of charging square, with a, um, fa uh, sorry, all lined up yep. means it's quite simple. It, uh, you've got two units on both sides yep. rolling in combat, both are disordered. It's a straight fight. Okay. But the mm -hmm. risk is. Obviously, if you roll horribly, you yep. could lose the battle unit in one turn. Okay, that's possibly true. Well, look, let's do that. Let's give this a go because I've taken less cohesion hits than my opponent. So we're going to turn and charge. Is there any shooting on the way in? No, I guess. No shooting, nothing like that. No. Nothing like that. So how many dice am I rolling here then? Um, so here you'll be getting two dice per side. Very similar to your the shooting okay. in melee, it works yep. the same way as a standard ADLG. Two units, Fine. two dice. So this is two units for melee purposes. Um, sorry, that was a two, wasn't it? I just knocked it. What a brilliant system that is. So, um, and this is just a straight opposed dice roll, isn't it? So actually, I can speed up the game by doing this the same. Um, and being that these are two pike and shot units, so they fight as heavy spearmen. Yep. So factor of one. Yep. Everyone's disordered. Yep. Straight roll. Your basic Ooh, factor is zero. Both both bases take a minus one. So so we're factor one. We're both factor zero. But does it need to be red dice against red dice or white against white? Um, it just makes things cleaner and, um, and more Actually, consistent yes, when you add bigger units, right. where you have more units a, involved. It's who wins, isn't it? Because it's not yeah. opposed shooting. So I do need it to be red and white. So here we go then. So oh. brilliant at this. This <laughs> These are remarkable odds. So let's let's pretend as well, just for the sake of doing an argument, that I didn't roll exactly evens with four dice. Um, <laughs> I should be entering the lottery with this one. Try again. So here, this looks better. Right. Here we go. So, so reds against reds. These guys have won by two. So I presume that's one cohesion here. So Renaissance works on the same. If for every difference of two, you take a hit. And that's dice per dice. It's not aggregated. Um, dice per dice. So unit by unit. Okay. So, so the red unit. The first hit. Bang. Yep. Just hit. Hit. And he's won by three, yep. which is two more hits, isn't it? Two more hits. And so the uh, now you, the um, the red pike and shot has now taken a total of five cohesion. So it's one-off breaking. And these guys didn't win either of those. So they're actually now there then. So combat's going on. Is there any clever break-off moves or anything like that? No, uh, for pike and for all the foot, no, no. there's no break off okay. moves. So we would go straight into another round of melee unless somebody else joined it, and we're doing exactly the same again. Yep. We're still both kind of knackered. There's no extra minuses for loads of cohesion hits. No extra minuses. The yeah. only time the extra cohesion uh, take, um, is important is for break points. Okay. Um, okay. Taking one or two, um, one or two. One or two cohesion, you take what there's one break point to your army. Okay. Once you've gone by more than half of the battle unit's break points, right. you've got two to your break to your break point of the army. Yeah. And when the battle unit breaks, there's four points being two okay. units. So this unit here counts as effectively one point disordered unit minus one cohesion towards the break point of the army. Right. But this at the moment is counting as two cohesion to the break point okay. of the army. Yeah. It's, got over halfway and it's a big yeah. mm -hmm. so let's see if we can get some more lucky dice rolls but they're all just taking base factor one minus one because they've um disordered cohesion loss the amount of cohesion loss doesn't matter it's always minus one off we go so four five four and one so he's one again that's up to six plus another three seven eight nine this one is completely illuminated been wiped out and these guys are the victors yep fish posh so actually doing it with the the two dice um does really speed it up and it's just that's half and half because the cohesion goes on on the whole unit that makes it quite speedy there's a little bit of choice about do you want to max out the number of dice and the number of hits by going full on 
and that also applies for shooting you can sometimes go in like that and be be more deadly and i guess that, that has more of an effect if you've got you know a battle that's not just got one unit there will usually be someone here someone here that will that will tend to go away and um and make that happen i guess yeah, so um, when you've got, um, say, if you've got um, a series of pikers shot in a checkerboard formation so they can yep. group move, um, okay. that can make a bit of a difference. Or you might have artillery supporting or cavalry. Yep. And that's when having things in a little um, off kilter can really make a big difference where you might be able to get three or four people, three or four units shooting at one target just to okay. really make sure you win. Well, look, let's, let's give these guys a rest. Please, please, please.